Hello friends, welcome back. So guys, uh, today's session we will learn how you can write the flow services in web method IO free talent. Okay. So uh, very first we will create, I'll show you how you can create a flow services and all the elements which is available on the flow service tenant. I'll explain you in details. So before that you are new in my channel. So guys, please subscribe, like, share and comment. Okay. So before wasting time, let's start the demo. So very first uh, we will creating one project here. So click on the plus icon, give the name as a WM IO training. Uh, click on the create option. So now you can see here the project got created. Now I want to create a flow services. So click on flow service and here the plus icon is available. Okay. That way you can create your flow service like empty flow service and if you have a zip file I want to import in your in your this tenant so by using this option you can import okay so click on plus icon and here the untitled name is mentioned here you can mention the uh, your flow service name so as I am giving the name as you add int If you want to mention the description you can mention here and now uh, let me uh, like give walk through of this particular uh, flow service tenant okay by using this option you can search this is a debug option this is a run option input output here you can mention your input here you can mention your output and if you want to uh, add new set a document reference if you have you created then by using this option you can mention the document reference as well okay and the thing is that if you want to mention your as i said if you want to mention your input and output just click on this option so very first i'll just cancel it and click on input and output here input fields once you click on input fields then the option will highlight here if there a plus icon you can add input this option suggests that you can cut this particular field this is a copy option. This is a paste option. If you have XML or yeah, JSON, you can load by using this particular two options. Okay. So very first, we as I said, we required a like we for error handling, we are using the try catch block. So just type a try. Okay. And here, this is your input. Okay. So I need to define my input. So in input uh, fields, taking the two strings. So click on plus icon. Here you can give the name like na name as a value one. Okay. So this is your type you can mention here. And let's say if you want to mention the document list. So how you can do that? Just click here. Do select a document here, and by using this option, now you can see here the array type, like bracket bracket it means this is array and if you want to mention only a document then unselect the checkbox now it it's a document sign you can mention like sign you can see here okay so now i required only value string value so select a data type as a string okay this is my first input i want to add another input so again click on this icon and here give the name as a value to okay data type would be a string no problem required field like uh, wherever we creating a manual doc document in a web method uh, web method flow services we have web method input output over there mandatory and optional field you mention okay so at the same time yeah this uh, likewise you can mention also in web method i would tenant mandatory field and optional fields so yes no you can mention here and now you can save the demo if you want to delete anything just select the particular field and you can delete also here duplicate the fields like here uh, paste the fields and copy the fields all the options are available okay so click on done option now our input got created but i also want to uh, like confirm my output so I just click on this output field and now click on plus icon here you can mention the output as a result 
and then this is uh, re like required field is yes and then click on done okay so before that you can save the demo now you can start your execution so very first i required uh, some map step so that i can manipulate my pipeline okay otherwise you can directly uh, if you are looking for any inbuilt service so here you can see the all the options are available connectors if you created a inbuilt connector a predefined connector rest connector soap connector flat file connector uh, by using this option you can invoke controls you can by using this option control you can invoke here project services and built-in services so let's say you created a sum of a flow services and those flow services you want to invoke uh, this particular tenant so why you can like how you can do just selecting this option you can directly invoke okay so now i'm looking for uh, the inbuilt service addition i want to perform the addition of a two integer so just click the math function here click on all and here type math so see math related functions all the list uh, in front of you you can see here so i just want to take math add ints okay now once you clear, like select this particular function the particular pipeline edit option is available this is nothing but you can, with the help of you can manipulate your pipeline and here comment disable and delete option is available okay so just click on this option and here you can see where value one so click on this value one and just drag here till the num one once you are like uh, rectangular got created now then uh, leave this line so it uh, directly map value 1 to num1 value 2 to num2 and let's suppose i want to uh, like assign some values so just write uh, the like double click you can assign the value okay i want to perform the pipeline substitution then you can by using this option you can uh, like substitute the pipeline variable here okay once you select it will directly uh like win value one percent percent it will take a value no need to mention the manually percent percent sign once you click on that particular option directly you can invoke uh, this particular value yeah you assign the value your pipeline substitute value here okay so i don't want to any uh set the value just unselect the checkbox delete this uh things okay and uh clear all and uh save okay now if you want to die like by mistakenly i select like uh, select this uh, pipeline value substitution so i just click on this particular option and you can delete it okay now i want to map value to result so by using that way you can map and again i don't require this value one like value so here you can see once you click on that now so related particular like this is a menu you can see the related this field or like those applicable element it's highlighted okay so value you can drop it because i don't require so to for performance better performance or uh, you can drop the value at the same time don't for unwanted variable you can drop at a real stage okay now what i do i'll take another map step so you can take a like another map step here you can see just click on this space okay and so if you uh like click on this pipeline now and again if you want to create like uh, add one map step yeah next step so you won't able to so that's why 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 because you want to clear close the pipeline view and then you can add a steps here so here as you can see the option is available add step okay so type a transform pipeline so in web method i would tenant map step is nothing but your transform pipeline okay and here by using this option you can drop the unwanted value variable value one i don't require value two i don't require and uh, number one i'll drop 
num2 i'll drop and result i want okay and uh, just close it and i want to uh, mention some comment so comment you can mention here drop variable mounted variable Save the com save a comment and cancel it. Okay, save the comment. And now I am uh, like this is a try block. I want a catch block. So just click on this catch block here and take a get last error. So just type a flow. Here, here you can see the flow get last error. Okay, so all the error detail information by using this inbuilt service you can take in care of okay so now if you want to uh, manipulate the pipeline just click on the editor option you can see here the last error got mapped to last error okay so cancel this flow and uh, now you can see you mentioned like for error handling you use a try catch block and uh, by, if you want to invoke the any inbuilt function just type like it's a uh, function is related to your string then type uh, math it's uh, like uh, math related more like numerical related functions type of math string related function type of string yeah any other inbuilt services if you are looking for then click on the inbuilt flow services and then type the particular service name so that you can directly know okay now the point is that uh let, let's start the demo first because the star indicates that the particular flow not a save okay so click on save option and now i want to run this particular flow okay so by using this option you can run okay so here you can see uh, the like you can enter the value as a 10 and value 2 as a 20. now you can see the result here 30 okay so if I want to take uh, the, let's say, I'll uh, run it again. If you want to save some values, so you can enter the value and uh, by using this option, you can uh, like save the value, set as optional. And you can also upload the input values by using this option. Okay. Now, I already run and you can uh, see the result. Okay. Now, now I want to debug this particular flow. So how you can debug? So click on this particular option, debug. So value 1, you already provided 10, value 2 as a 20, they click on debug option and here cursor at a first, first line. So by using this option, you can step over. Okay. So click on F10, this is a shortcut key, keyboard shortcut key. So uh, step over, click on step over. Now it will, cursor goes to math add ints function. Okay. Then step over. You can see here the number one num2 value 1 value 2 and result okay now it directly jump to the uh, try block like execution got finished then now you can see the result is a 30 okay 30 result 30 okay so guys that's all about today's demonstration uh, next demonstration maybe we will see regarding the connectors how you can create a rest soap your yeah, flat file connectors as well as a predefined connector how you can invoke okay and uh, again input output manually you can create but if you want to create it like uh, you know the document reference how you can create a document reference in a web method io tenant we'll see you in details so we will come up with a new session very soon uh so if you like uh, like if you like this video guys so please subscribe like share and comment okay so we'll come up with new session very soon till the time stay happy stay connected and thank you so much